Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ones to Watch is here. A huge Friday, the first promo of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, and everybody is finally on the game with the Standard Edition releasing today. Already out for a lot of you guys watching this video. Everybody's on the game. We've got Ones to Watch in packs today. We have got Foot Heroes coming into packs. We have a market that is crashed and a lot of prices low with so many people ready to buy people to open, opening packs today. Guaranteed ones to watch packs. There's a whole debacle with that going on right now. So I want to talk about the content to expect today, what to expect on the market, and everything that we know about ones to watch and what's happening today on Friday. First things first, though, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to leave a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, we actually already know the ones to watch team. If you are unaware, this is the official ones to watch team. EA posted this on their Instagram story yesterday. They do this sometimes. They post the teams early. I'm not a huge fan because it kills some of the anticipation and some of the hype. But Cristiano Ronaldo is headlining team number one with his Manchester United teammate, Rafael Varane. So Ronaldo, Varane, Hakimi, Alaba, some big names in this team one side. Of course, it is only 11 players. And we'll talk again about how Once to Watch is going to work over the next couple of days. And it's a two-week promo like usual, but there's some mini releases as well. So I want to talk about, again, this team and what happened with the market just a little bit today. And then we'll talk about those guaranteed Once to Watch packs. So when EA tweeted this out, of course, a lot of people went to the market to try to buy the gold cards of these items as they went out of packs. Guys like Upa Meccano. Upa Meccano went from like 21,000 coins all the way up to 26K. I bought like 12 of them right away when I saw the release. He went from 21K, he was already down, and he went up to 26, which is where I sold. That was a huge W. Now he's back down. One thing I would say today is if you see any of these cards that are in ones to watch, like a gold Hakimi, a gold Upa Meccano, maybe a Varan, an Alaba, uh, or something like that that would drop today, that could be especially an Upa Meccano or an Alaba, a very usable player in FIFA, that might be a situation to kind of watch today. But these players are going to be coming in two packs today on FIFA as well as the foot heroes the foot heroes cards are going to be coming into packs today as well if you guys did not remember we have a bunch of these hero hero cards they're kind of like icons but not really so what i'm really curious to see with today is how people treat these on the market and the pack weight a lot of what today depends on is the pack weight of these cards of the ones to watch cards and everything else in the game so i'm going to leave the link to this page in the description if you forgot about foot heroes i'm very curious to see how this goes today and we'll talk about these prices and how i expect them to get on the market a little bit later in the video when we talk about supply and packs and all that sort of stuff but of course um back to ones to watch for a second there, there's a lot going on right now with ones to watch and the guaranteed OTW packs. Because if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you're going to see a little thing in the menus just like this. It says your pre-order content. And then it lists the 4,600 FIFA points, the Team of the Week pack that we've already opened, the Career Mode, and then October 1st, unassigned items, ones to watch. It says it's going to your unassigned, but... You go into the store and you see a pack. Now, right now, if you have this pack, do not open this pack. Supposedly, EA has disabled you from opening this, but here it says, once to watch player pack pre-order contains a once to watch player untradeable, must be opened on or after October 1st. So they're telling you, you can't open this until October 1st at today's content drop on this Friday date. But... They dropped the pack early, so people started opening this pack, and gold cards started coming out. Random gold cards, right? Hradeki I've seen, Ismali, just random gold cards. Stuff like this has happened before, but obviously it's like, EA, why are you putting this pack out uh, when those cards aren't even in the game yet? And why are you telling us to not open it until then? Just release it when it's available to be opened. That really does not make any sense, but... They said that Once to Watch pre-order packs were unintentionally released prior to Once to Watch player items being in FIFA 22. Pre-order packs are currently can't be opened while we investigate players who opened their pack prior to the release will receive a new pack in the coming days. So you're going to have to wait. If you opened your pack on accident or on purpose, you're going to have to wait for another one in the coming days. If you haven't opened it, it sounds like you can't, but don't touch it. Don't even try to open it. I'm going to let mine sit there and not even touch it because... <laughs> I want to open it and get a once to watch card out of it and not some gold card that I'm not expecting. But speaking of packs, again, 
that's a big thing for today, right? A huge part of today, market-wise and content-wise, people are worried about the pack supply. One thing I'm kind of curious about is the preview packs, right? I'm curious about packs. Are they going to add a 5K pack? Are they going to add the regular, you know, 400 coin bronze packs that we seem to be missing in this game? Are they going to add promo packs today on Friday? It's a big question. Are we just going to have the 7.5Ks? I think the answer to that is no. And I want to take you back to last year in FIFA 21 just to show you in terms of pack supply today. And this is going to kind of set the tone for what I expect today market-wise. And with these ones to watch cards and foot heroes and how stuff will be entering the market, I think this is going to set the tone if they do something similar to what they did last year. Now, don't expect lightning rounds, right? We've come, we're coming out of FIFA 21 where every Friday we're getting 50K, 100K, and 125K lightning rounds. It's not going to be like that this early. They don't put out the, that those big of packs right away. They kind of ease their way into it, right? Even last year, this is last year, the pack offers that we had for FIFA 21 ones to watch. There were no lightning rounds. They were only basically 15K packs and 12.5K packs on a 24-hour limit. You could open 10 15Ks and 5 uh, 12.5K packs um, on that 24-hour limit. And then, of course, on Saturday, they had... 15Ks again, and they had 25K packs. And then on Sunday, they had 35, 25, and 15K packs. So what I'm very curious to see today is, number one, do they release promo packs? I think the answer to that is going to be yes. I would be very surprised if they just left the, the 7.5Ks in here. I think they will add at least a 15K, maybe a 12 and a half like last year, maybe a 25K pack. I think that will bring, you know, that, that'll create a usual, even more amount of supply, but it will create the supply that we are expecting to see today, right? Lower rated players will be packed a decent amount. They'll drop in price from that supply. But the number one thing that's going to be huge for today is the preview packs. Now, right now, you can only preview a 7.5K pack on this game, right? I, or I think that's the only one you can preview. Um what I will say is, if they release any other sort of pack today that is previewable, that is going to make the market have more supply because people are going to open those, get some stuff, and you're going to see a lot more supply come onto the game as people pay for coins, pay with coins, or pay with FIFA points for those packs and list those cards up. That's going to drive the market down even further if we have additional preview packs today so just keep a watch out for that there's going to be a lot of supply there's a lot of people that have fifa points saved up for today they're just going to open all the packs in the store and they may even have saved up packs like myself at the moment i have a 50 50k pack a bunch of the marquee matchups packs and i'm trying to finish up a few more objectives to get some uh, 50k two more 50k packs uh, and a 100k pack as well so trying to finish up objectives a lot of people have those types of packs sitting and waiting for today there is going to be a ton of of supply now let's talk about market and how it is acting right now on this game i want to show you the market index because heading into today on friday we have a lot of prices down bad even worse than what they were before remember yesterday when we looked at the market index and we were at 99 points yeah we're now at 88 we have dropped from 99 points on the index down to 88 we were at 86 before the market crashed big time during the marquee matchups release yesterday on Thursday, players' prices continually went down as nobody was buying and packs were supplying. The team of the week is unbelievably low at these prices right now. And you see some of these high-tier meta cards just continuing to drop as well. Now, they have fluctuated a bit, right? Lukaku was 61K. He went down into the low 50s. Actually, you could have found Lukaku right around this time during marquee matchups at about 50 to 52,000 coins. He rose back up to about 53, 54, and is now down under 50,000 coins, right? Same thing with Holland. Holland went from, you know, I think the middle 80s, like 83, 84,000 coins. Yesterday on Thursday, as you can see here, he was 88K at one point. He dropped down to 80,000 coins. He was buyable at like 76 or 77, rose back up to 84, and is now back down to 77K. Now, the interesting thing about this part of the market right now is a lot of people, again, as you have seen and can see, have sold these cards. So many people are waiting to buy for today. They're waiting for today to, to buy because they're expecting all the supply to drive player prices down and down. Now, yes, I do think that player prices are going to drop today on some areas of the market, but I also think that so many people are waiting to buy that you're going to see some prices start to come back. I don't expect the market to absolutely explode today, 
because I think there's going to be so much supply that, and especially with, you know, there's no weekend league today. There's people are just buying teams to buy teams. There's not like a huge driving force behind. I have to buy this team so that I can play weekend league with it this weekend and get rewards. But a lot of people are still out there wanting to buy some teams. So I think on the high tier meta, once again, we keep saying that those higher tier cards, like a Pogba, who's 140k, who is 165,000 coins just a couple days ago, a Marcus Rashford, who was in the 170s, now in the 150s, Bruno Fernandes in the 160s, he was in the high 170s, Marcus Llorente was over 150,000 coins. He's now 136. You're seeing a lot of these higher tier cards drop down. I would really look into getting involved in some of those today if you want them for your team. Now, of course, the lower tier cards too, right? We talk about the cheap ones that we're expecting to get packed a lot, but are still very hyped up. Where's my boy Lacroix? Because Lacroix was down at like 33,000 coins, 33K. 79 rated center back, 88 pace, so much hype on this card. I do still think that he is going to have a bounce back like he did earlier this last week, but I would be a little bit worried about that supply that's coming in today. So my best advice to you today would be watch the prices before we head into the 6 p.m. time frame. I know some cards, if they're higher tier, if they're really high rated, like a Holland, like this Lukaku, you know, guys like maybe even a Bruno Fernandez, a Hyunmin Son, a Pogba, any card that is like 85 rated and above, if you see it dropping a lot more into 6 p.m. today with even more panic selling, I don't expect that. But if you do see that, I would go ahead and try to snag those right before. But if not, maybe during that first hour to two hours of that insane amount of pack supply, you might see some undercuts, you might see some listings, and then you'll see people start to buy back after all of that happens. So of course, we saw a huge drop off in the market yesterday. I do expect to see a drop off kind of like this a little bit, but what you're, you're going to see the drop off today on the market impact cards on the lower end the most, right? Cards that are maybe like six to 7,000 coins, like a Correa, who's 5,000 coins, a Fakir, who's 7K, a, a Felix, who is 2.1 thousand coins, a Fred, right? 81 rated card, probably going to get packed a decent amount today. And Andama Traore, 3,000 3, coins, he's going to drop off in price today. Vinicius, 80 rated, like the supply is really going to hit those lower rated cards. Some of them will bounce back a little bit, but a lot of cards are really going to get tanked in price today and especially with all of the supply that is on this market player prices are cheaper than ever it's just crazy out here right so that's kind of what i'm expecting today on the market right we knew prices were going to be really really low some of them are going to pick up but i think maybe if it's if it comes down to this for higher rated cards it might be a little bit of the earlier you get in you might be a little bit better off if you do get in a little bit earlier now of course we have foot heroes coming into packs today as well and with those cards coming on the market, one thing I'm very curious about is their pack weight and their supply. If we have preview packs today, some of these cards might get supplied a lot. They might get pretty cheap, then rebound on later. If we don't have any preview packs today, then of course we will just have saved up packs. I would even watch out on your ones to watch and your foot hero cards today for cards that just get too cheap. In the first hour to two hours, if you look at guys like Grealish, uh, of course, these cards are live updating items, and a lot of these players actually have games tomorrow on Saturday, right? That's something that we always have to keep in mind is that these ones to watch cards have games tomorrow or on Sunday. So keep in mind which cards have a game tomorrow on Saturday because that could be a quick investment uh, like Cristiano Ronaldo and Manchester United play first thing Saturday morning, I believe. Keep an eye on those cards, right? Keep an eye on those cards. If they do get a little bit too low, you think, hey, these cards, again, have potential to get an inform this next week and could get upgraded right away. People buy into that hype just because they have a game the next day and they want that player to perform well. I would take, I would watch a guy like Malin, I believe Dortmund play on Saturday. I would watch a guy like Grealish, right, with Manchester City or even Saul with Chelsea. I would keep an eye on those ones to watch cards and how low their prices get today in the first couple hours or so because they could rise up later on into the evening is maybe people look to buy them for the potential of them getting upgraded and heading into a game that they would have on Saturday. So that's kind of what I'll be watching for on the market. Now I'm going to be looking at icons. I'm going to be looking at informs. I'm going to be looking, I mean, these informs right now on this market are incredibly, incredibly cheap. One place it would be pretty no risk 
kind of like the lowest risk possible. If you're looking for an investment or a place to watch the market today would be icons and informs. Now, some of the team of the week one informs have kind of dropped off a bit like this Kimmich. And Kimmich has dropped off because of the Zakaria inform that is in uh, team of the week two, but obviously these cards are out of packs. Now team of the week one is in packs and their prices are insanely low because again, just like the rest of the market, nobody wants to buy at the moment. So we're keeping an eye on these cards because yes, these would be ones that could rise potentially later on today. Rare cards like Benzema, very in-demand cards like Jesus, Felipe Anderson, Zakaria, and Barella. I would keep a very close eye on this team of the week today because they're going to get supplied and they're going to rise up. They got dynamic images. They look cool, right? They look really cool right now inside of teams because they look different than gold cards with those dynamic images and with the boosted stats. And they're also more rare on the market. So I would keep an eye on these team of the weeks today as well as with the icons, because I think with Foot Heroes coming on the market, Foot Heroes really could impact some of the icon prices on this game today, depending on how expensive they are. Some of the links to Foot Heroes, you know, some of these items that we obviously, I put the link down below in the description to see some of these cards. Yes, they do have the cool links with their um, the nation and with their league, but I still think people are going to use icons to actually link together with these Foot Hero cards. So that's going to be very, very interesting to see on this game today, how those Foot Heroes react. Now, of course, we're going to be streaming it all live down below in the description. The link is there, twitch.tv backslash forward slash the foot account. And I'll be streaming most of the day on Friday into the content drop, looking at these cards, seeing how they react on the market, going up and down and all that sort of stuff, making coins along the way. And of course, shouting if, when, and where you should potentially be making buys for some cards in your team or if for some investments and all that good sort of stuff. Now, last thing really quick, what kind of content can we expect today on this game? Now, the number one thing we can expect is probably an SBC player and probably an objective as well. Now, just a quick little shout, we might have a player of the month today. I really don't expect it, but if there is a, a small chance of a Premier League player of the month release, it could be today, of course, the uh, voting for the uh, September player of the month is out with Cristiano Ronaldo, Salah, and Saar headlining that vote. But some people still think that we might get the Antonio player of the month from the month of August, which I think there's a very slight bit of potential for that. That would be released early this morning in the AM on Friday. Be, of course, that's like midday or early morning, even mid-morning UK time and like very early morning US time. They usually release those player of the months into the game of FIFA. We had that. We had one last year at the start of FIFA 21. So there is a possibility for that. Now I am expecting to get a once to watch player SBC today. It might be Clivert. I've heard Clivert's name thrown around. I've heard Depay. Um, of course, that'd be Justin Clivert, um, not the icon. But that could be something that we do see today. That Cliver was actually confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. EA and Fabrizio are kind of working together on some of these cards. So that would be an SBC we could potentially see today. And I do believe that we will see the ones to watch Kamavinga objective dropped into this section of the game as well. So keep an eye on that objective. A lot of people are going to want to go out and do that objective today. So huge Friday, right? Full game release, the guaranteed ones to watch cards. Now, one thing I want to take a look at again and just go over with you guys really fast about ones to watch cards is, of course, we know that Messi is a confirmed player in ones to watch. He's going to be in team two, right? We know Lukaku, Sergio Ramos, uh, Wijnaldum, Andre Silva, Taliska, uh, Konate. Those are all cards that will be ones to watches, but they're, they're not going to be released today. They're either going to be released as a part of the mini release, which will come out on Sunday, or they will be a part of Team 2 or the Team 2 mini release. So once to watch is two weeks long. So there's a lot of potential and a lot of different areas where some of these guys could pop into packs or could be an SBC or objective. But again, as we talked about with those guaranteed ones to watch packs, if you open it today, you're only going to get a player from this first 11, right? You're not going to have a chance at Messi, not going to have a chance at Lukaku if you want either of those players. Um, as long as the pack that they gave us does not sit in our unassigned and it sits in the store, which it looks like it does, uh, then I think I'm going to be holding mine after the ones to watch team two mini release. So that means that from October 13th onwards, you will be able to open your ones to watch pack 
and you will be able to get any of the once to watch cards that are released in packs, not just from team one or from team two. But you can refer to this little graphic right here. Of course, a lot of people are probably going to open it today because there's Varane, there's Ronaldo, and they think that with less players, they're going to have a better shot. If I'm being completely honest, the best possibility of you packing a player is going to be, it's going to be Grealish, it's going to be Burkhouse, it's going to be Dumfries, Locatelli, Malin, or Saul, most likely, with probably a lot of Locatelli's, Dumfries, Burghouse, and Malin. Three Dutch flags. If you see the Dutch flag, you're probably not that happy with your ones to watch uh, guaranteed pack pull. So let me know down in the uh, comments below as well what you're going to do if you have that pack. I'm going to be saving mine as far as I can because I really want Messi. If I had any opportunity to get Messi, I want to give myself that chance. So that's what I'm thinking today for a huge Friday of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team with the ones to watch promo with foot heroes coming into packs. And of course, all of the content that we are expecting and all the market movements that we will be expecting because of that. Again, if you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>